right, so the last video got cut off, but I want to make sure that I get this last principle to you. You need to have the right motives. And one of the things that God had to work with me on is the fact that sometimes what would happen with me, I would want to do good things, but because of the pressure, you know, because of maybe financial difficulties, financial challenges, um, I would want to do good things, but my motive was off. I would want to do good things in order that I could make money. I would want to uh, give a speech so that I could make, uh, you know, money from giving the speech. Um, I might post things on social media because I wanted to gain a large following, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to get a large amount of likes. I wanted to get a large amount of followers or what have you. And what God had to remind me of is that do the things that you're doing for the right reasons. Don't do good things even for the wrong reasons. Do all, make sure that your motives are always pure on what you're doing. And I had to be reminded that my goal here is not one of, you know, it, I would love to become rich. But whether I become rich or not, my goal is to help people to transform. Right. That is the right motive to, to reach the full potential that God has designed them to reach. That is my that is the right motive that I need to have as I operate, even in doing these videos. So no longer is my focus. OK, will a hundred thousand people ever see this video or will a million people ever see this video? But I will be content if one of you sees this video, if two of you sees this video, if three of you sees this video um, and it has impact in your life and you are transformed and you live a better life, and not just live a better life, but live a godly life, and, 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 and really reach the full potential that God has designed you with, and that you're closer connected to God through whatever video I make. So, so, so make sure that your motives are in the right place. And also, um, oh man, I didn't even touch on this, but I'll, I'll, t I'll touch on this just for the sake of touching on it, right? Proverbs chapter 25, verse 4 says, Watch, oh yeah, I love it. and it, it, it makes sense. Remove impurities from the silver, and the silversmith can craft a fine chalice. So remember what I said about, um, you know, can God trust you with success before? And sometimes we don't realize that in order for God to take us to the next level, he has to clean out the impurities that we still have at this current level, right? But if we allow him to do that, if we take continually self-assess and figure out wh what's the gap or what what where what adjustments do I need to make um, in order to to take my game to the next level? Where am I still messing up? Where do I still have some hangups? Where is my mentality still not right? Where do I still have the wrong motives? If we allow him to 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 clean us up, then he can trust to take us to that next level. So um, you know, I, I, if this video. Um, was helpful to you, and I hope that it was, then I do ask that you would share it uh, with somebody that you feel, don't just share it with anybody, okay? Sh 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 sure, put it on social media or what have you. I'm more interested that you share it with somebody that you really feel could use this message, that you really feel would benefit from some of the things that have been said here um, in this video. So, yeah, man, that's, that's it. Um, Y'all, bless you. I get one.